I, uh, b before we talk about this, I just got to tell you, I saw you in POTUS. Oh, sure. On Broadway. Last year, And yeah. you were so great. Oh, that was a I mean, that whole crazy show. show was, huh? yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy farce. Yes. Which, uh, the Steppenwolf, by the way, is about to open here oh, good. in Chicago. But yeah, I played I just, the first lady, yes. Yeah, I just wanted to tell <laughs> you how, how much I enjoyed you. Thank you. Uh, and that, what's that like for you now to... Be it's great to be back. It's 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 great that Broadway's back and and booming. And uh, I'm on the other side of the the table now as a producer. And we've got this amazing James Iglehart, who's incredible, playing Louis Armstrong in a wonderful world. We're at the the Cadillac Palace, and it's our out of town. Yes, it is. Yeah, we just came from uh, New Orleans last week. We had yeah. a great time. Yes, we did. And uh, it's. It's incredible. I mean, you want to talk about his... It's, uh... it's, a, it's a wonderful story. It's a wonderful send-up to the legendary Louis Armstrong. I mean, I always like to start by saying there were trumpet players before Louis, and then Louis came along, and there were trumpet players after Louis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without Louis, we wouldn't have what we have, and it's the way he changed music, the way he changed how America saw African Americans. And just his amazing journey is... It spans four, you know, it spans four decades, and the man is incredible. He was one of the old... He, he was 60 years old when he won his first uh, Grammy Award for Hello, Dolly. I mean, the way he's, through music, you can't have American history or music history without Louis Armstrong, and our story goes through that. And well, Chicago is yes. such it's a big part of it. So yeah. Yeah. That's a big so part of our show, to yeah. Louis Armstrong, yeah. yeah. I wonder, though, James, like, how do you balance making the performance your own, but also staying true? I mean, you have to bring take on some of Louis Armstrong's characteristics. Definitely. But you don't, I imagine as an actor, you don't want to do a straight up impersonation either. No, that's the, that's the hard thing. You don't want, no disrespect to Vegas. I love Vegas. Yeah. I love the Vegas performers, but you don't want to do um, like a, a Vegas impression of him. So what I try to do is be as uh, Armstrong-esque as I possibly can by doing as much studying as I could. I read, I read both of his autobiographies. I've seen as many interviews. And so I try to give as much of that while giving my energy to it so that you can be done for the amount of time you're in the theater. Andrew voice though you do turn that's into true I, I do I do do his voice I that that that's something that you cannot you, you have to do so, so what gosh. jumped out at you in that research that you said oh I've got to use this um I think it was the fact that um, without sounding crazy I didn't realize how <laughs> hood <laughs> Louis actually wow. was. I think there's that moment in, in Hollywood at that time where yeah. African American uh, performers, you had to be one way on screen and then one way off screen. And so it was kind of fun to watch this transition that Louis would do. And he wasn't playing a character whenever he was um, in films. He was being himself, but he was being a version of himself that he knew was what needed to be done so that African Americans could be seen in such a very positive light. Very cool. Vanessa, I want to turn to you because I, I got to imagine as a producer, mm -hmm. Obviously, you've got a lot of say in mm -hmm. what story is mm -hmm. told. Was it difficult to sort of sell this idea of doing a musical about Louis Armstrong? Or well, I came in, uh, there, were, there was already a production that happened mm -hmm. in Miami. Mm -hmm. So I came in when we knew we were going to bring it to Broadway. So uh, we did a reading. We worked a lot on the, on the script. Uh, we worked a lot on the music. So mm -hmm. we, there's been some transformation from its beginning. From its original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's wonderful being a part of the creative process. Mm -hmm. And also musically, since I'm a musician, I can hear sitting in the audience, I can say, OK, this is too loud. This needs to go. Too much underscoring here. You know, so, so I can. that involved. Exactly. In yeah, exactly. yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's not just the name as producer, but I'm part of the creative process, which as, is fantastic. As a yeah. performer, though, mm -hmm. don't you want to, at times, just jump, jump up there? Yeah. Get, get up there? <laughs> Let me show you how to do this. We have four women, uh, <laughs> and we kind of break down Lewis's... Um, uh, his life into four parts. First is New Orleans, one, one wife. He's married four times. Yep. So we've got the first wife who was a prostitute, the second wife who was a musician and taught him how to read music in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Then he moves out to Hollywood and he's got a young wife, Alpha, and then he goes to Queens uh, for his final part of his life and Lucille is his wife. So there are four dynamic women who have they sing their behinds off True. besides yes. James over here. So you definitely get uh, your, your money's worth when you're hearing mm. the amazing women sing. And also this tap dancing. The costumes are amazing. You get a show. Yeah, yeah. That, the era of music. I mean, his, <laughs> his era of music is stunning. But James, how, how life-changing was it for you? to uh, be Aladdin, uh, to be a genie, <laughs> genie rather, in yes. Aladdin. I expected you to walk yeah. in here in silks. But the biggest thing I noticed was that um, after, after Aladdin happened, once we opened, everybody uh, 
pronounced my last name correctly. Ah. <laughs> I was Iglehart and Inglehart for 20 years. And yeah. I was sitting on one of those was like, Iglehart, oh, that's how you said it. I was like, yes, finally. Yeah. People say my name right. So that was, the, that was the biggest thing. But it was actually uh, incredible to be able to play uh, a childhood character that I've always loved. So yeah. I'm so glad I got to do it. And it's also led to things like this. Were you worried going into that one that people are going to say, oh, yeah, the, the Robin Williams thing? Oh, big time. And how big did time. you figure it out? Um, I got saved by <laughs> a guy named Jonathan Freeman, who's the original Jafar. And he came to me and told me that Howard Ashman and Alan Menken originally uh, conceived the genie to be black. The original uh. movie, Thief of Baghdad, the genie was um, mm. a black man. And in history, I don't want to go too deep into it, but, yeah. you know, the way genies are supposed to be, yeah. and because they're not exactly free, yeah. the genies are usually yeah. a person of color. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so that's kind of where they were going. And if you listen to the, the original music, even in the movie, it's all big band music. Yeah. So it was supposed to be a black guy, but then they went a different route with Robin. I'm so glad they did, but they allowed me to create my own version that's of great. it. That's great. Yeah, Vanessa, are we going to be seeing you in... Anything soon? TV, movies? I'm working on an album now, so the next thing will be uh, new music next year. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah. Tell us more. Give us more. Can you hum a few bars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just nothing, do, nothing just do one song. <laughs> we got recorded, uh, okay. so, yes, uh, okay. seven songs. We've got three more to go, and then All we'll right. be out next in the, year. In the style of the music for uh, which you are so I've got some dance so stuff. I've got some mid-tempo stuff. Uh, of course, some jazz and some, some ballads, so yeah. The regular. Right. Always, right. uh, always a favorite. And uh, Wonderful World, uh, as we'd mentioned, is running through October 29th. It's over at the Cadillac Palace Theater in the Theater District downtown. It plays here in Chicago before it goes to New York. You can get more information and tickets at broadwayinchicago.com. Guys, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. Our pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.